Okay, so hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm so honored. Do you want to hear guests? <laughs> She's got like the Terminator hi. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people tr have trouble with eccentric loading or stretching of the obliques. We notice this problem in you, right? So we just show the camera with the obliques of these muscles here on the sides that actually cross over uh, the abdomen into the, the rectus abdominis and attach to the linea alba, right where you're kind of zippling up the midline. Point this on us, right on. it's super wide. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> establish a, a stability for the hip. And for people that don't get proper intra-abdominal pressure, people that aren't able to build proper intra-abdominal pressure, it will easily compress the hip, and then the hip tries to add stability to the right area that's lacking. Yeah? Yeah. So bend your knees for us, let's return back to an assessment on breathing, and we'll just try to get you to encourage to breathe here. You can already see it fills up better from there, with only two little passes on stretch up. <laughs> so what we want to do is try to encourage the breathing through this prayer area, right through here. We just give them some proprioceptive keys, a little bit of a scratch. And when you're at home, Eric, what you can do is put your hand right here, put your other hand down here, yeah, and try to get those areas to fill on the inhale. Okay. And what this does is it allows slack to appear at the hip, so if there's less compression at the hip. Lovely stuff. Yeah. And adding matters. Anatomy matters. And adding matters. matters. Knowing your anatomy is important. Yeah. yeah. And breathe. And breathe. First thing. Yeah, that suit is amazing. <laughs> I love it. Thank oh, you for letting me be yeah, part of it. That's my pleasure. That was oh, so much fun. Isn't he cute? Come here. Yes. Seconds. 